before we begin, the next spirit of the morass. Suppose you describe an unpleasant or confusing situation as a morass. In that case, you mean that it seems impossible to escape from or resolve because it has become so severe or complicated. Let us begin. Tablet 1 The Noxious God The Noxious Spirit of the Neck The Neck Spirit of the Desert The Neck Spirit of the Mountains The Neck Spirit of the Sea The Neck Spirit of the Morass The noxious spirit of the city, the noxious wind, which seizes the body and the health of the body. Spirit of heaven, remember. Spirit of earth, remember. Tablet 5 He who makes an image which injures the man. The mark, the word. An evil face, an evil eye, an evil tongue, evil lips, and evil poison. Spirits of heaven, remember. Spirit of earth, remember. Tablet 6 The Cruel Spirit The Strong Spirit of the Head The Head Spirit that Departs Not The Head Spirit that Goes Not Forth The Head Spirit that Will Not Go The Noxious Head Spirit Spirit of Heaven, Remember Spirit of Earth, Remember Tablet 8. May Ninsigal, the wife of Ninazu, turn her face to an other place. May the noxious spirit go forth and seize another. May the propitious spirit and the propitious genie settle upon his body. Reminding me of the Anunnaki being released from their prison. The body is a temple. Spirit of heaven, remember. Spirit of earth, remember. Tablet 9. May Nebs, the great steward, the recliner supreme. Like the god who has begotten him, seize up his head. Against his life, may he not break forth. Spirit of heaven, remember. Spirit of earth, remember. Tablet 10 on the sick man, by the sacrifice of mercy, may perfect health shine like bronze. May the sun god give this man life. May Merodach, the eldest son of the deep, give him strength, prosperity and health. I want you to note the negativity in the language. The power of the words implies to the subject that there is no way out. The situation is morass, appearing impossible to escape from or resolve.
from my perspective, the Ashipu exorcists only appear to be helping. For a very long time, I have believed that they are not expelling a demon at all. In fact, they are using humans as a conduit, which is evident in this so-called exorcism. They are releasing the spirits, the legion, or Anunnaki, from their palace prison. The spirit in heaven is God, and the spirit on earth is a cure. What was once vocal is now reduced to ink. What was once a healing method is now reduced beneath the obscurity of the written word. The revelation you await begins in ancient Babylon. <laughs> 